Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I shall sing now. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight in New York, New York. The city is so nice, they named it twice. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. What, what happened to the beard? You just t- Oh God. Oh, it's that's scary. Boo. Anyway, uh, that's Albert Reynoso, and you you don't have a beard anymore. You just no, I it's usually just uh, you know some kind of scruffy look like this. Well, I, how much how how often do you shave? Once a week. Once a week, same here. But I don't shave down my whole face completely. I shave to a, to just shorter than this. I never shave completely anymore. Well, I I shave here and here. You know, leave this. I use the trimmer and I and see. I, just, I would yeah. do I would do with a beard, but the yeah. trouble is I have a place over here, maybe over here, where it doesn't grow, and, and so it it, I got this like beard with a hole in it, you know. So I, I would have to really grow it out a lot so that it would you know come down over the hole. I don't know if any of us believe you. You don't have to prove that to us. Really? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, so you uh, start. You start on uh, what are we in April? April, March, or April? Something I don't know. We're Whatever March. Is, uh, we're going to check back with you in August, and and you better have some substantial beard there because we want to see where the hole is. I don't believe nobody no, believes. I can't. Yet. I can't. I tried to. I've tried to grow the rest of the beard. Okay. Hey, I I love growing a beard. Let's tell for women who are listening. Let me tell you the biggest problem guys have and that's shaving we hate shaving don't we basically yeah i don't do it yeah we basically hate shaving i mean what was the first thing that letterman did when he no longer had a show boom right because every day he had to shave every day he had to shave just before he went on the air so he wouldn't have any any stubble or whatever and after how many years 30 years of having to shave every day What's the first thing you don't do when you're not working? That's right. Stop shaving. So I don't, I maybe shave once a week. But it's not that, it's not that unusual uh, anymore to see people that, uh, men that aren't fully shaven. You see it all the time, yeah. a lot, a lot of five o'clock shadow or, or even, or, or even more than that. I sometimes uh, uh, see Ari Melber. On, oh uh, he, oh Ari Melber. You can tell what day it is by how. how oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes four or five days, <laughs> no shaving, and I and I'm I'm happy about it. So it's about time. Why 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 are we being put down? Well, he also he, well, he also has a terrible facial hair problem. I mean, it, with well, it, within mean? a day, he looks it looks thick. You know. Well, so. But I've told women this. I say, you know, we just, guys, really, the one thing we have to do every day that just drives us out of our mind is shaving. I mean, when I used to go into work at Sirius, I used to shave every day. I would shower every morning. I can't tell you the last time I took a shower now. But (laughs) Well, you don't have to smell me from there. But anyway, no, but the point is that... um, uh, you know, when you don't have, when shaving is terrible. I tell women this and they go, well, you don't know what it's like to shave your legs. And I go, come on, that's nothing. You know, you're ripping hairs out of your face. Okay. Would you, would you, would I you? don't, I don't, to me, it's the same, course, it's the same mess. As I've gotten older and I've gotten the, uh, the, uh, uh, what's it, what the, the, uh, leg problems here that I've got the, uh, anyway, whatever it's called, RLS, restless no, leg. No, that's C- CLL. Oh, RLS. You're talking about restless leg syndrome. No, I don't have that. You have RXV. No, because no, no. if you do, RXV. A neuropathy. I have neuropathy. Don't take RXV unless. Anyway, you're I have neuropathy. Either. My hair doesn't grow on my legs anymore. 
I don't have any leg hair anymore. I don't have any. It's all very fascinating. I don't have air hair, much hair left under my armpits. Oh, you're going to love getting old. You're really going to love getting old. Doesn't seem to be a problem for me. How many That's years are you now? I forget. I keep forgetting. 61. 61. Yeah, you're going to love it. You got, you got some great surprises coming up. Hair growing I mean, where it didn't That's what people use. have been saying for years, and I don't, I don't see any difference now, really, except I look different and I, and I move slower, but everybody's, oh, when, when you turn 50, when you turn 6, I'm like, Okay, so what what else is going to happen? Come on. Well, like a lot I'm of people, gonna we, stop, we, I'm going to stop growing hair where I don't want to grow it anywhere. <laughs> What's so bad about that? You know, I had last week. I think I had two people I knew die on me. You know, it's getting ridiculous. Jerry That's Foley. That's a segue, Alex. I have to say. No, no, but I'm telling you, this all has to do with aging. Okay. Uh, uh, Jerry well, Foley. Aging leads to death. I have to say. That 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 I don't know a lot of science, but that's one bit of science that I do know. Aging leads to death. Any Jerry Foley, who was the uh, director of the Letterman Show, who I knew, you know, through Shecky when I go up there, Jerry would always come in and say hi, and we talk. And I like Jerry, good guy. Saw him at uh, Shecky's uh, memorial last. He died. Skiing accident. Hmm. And then the same day, guy I worked with at WMCA, and, we, and we've and we known each other over the years, on and off. Oh, the cat's moving. Now the cat's kind of getting another position to lie down. Okay. Probably cleaning time. Yeah, probably. Probably. Oh, there we go. Are they, oh, it is cleaning time. Cleaning time. Okay, so it's bath time. Anyway, the other one was Malachi McCord. Do you know Malachi McCord? Oh, yeah. yeah well, you know... How I know Malachi McCord? How? Because he subbed for you several times at Sirius. He and did, didn't he? Yes, he did. And that's the only reason I know Malachi. And what a sweet guy. Oh, and what a oh, nice the best. guy. Vibrant and, and open and just a great guy. A, a real Irishman. Yeah. And, and, and you get the sense of his brother's writing when you talk to him. You say, yes, this, this definitely happened and these are real people well There's no he, so that's that. what angela's ashes is about he's yes. he's one of the kids yes i know do you know they I, were all born in brooklyn and moved to ireland mm -hmm. yeah I, I always thought he was just born and raised in ireland mm -mm. but what mm -mm. do they do go to ireland to be poor <laughs> I mean, you do that here you can do that in america you can do that here i guess but anyway he died yes i know just, then a couple of weeks earlier another guy i knew richard lewis died Richard Lewis. Did yeah. Richard ever Richard do the show with us in like Sirius XM? No, but I've had him on other shows. Yeah. Another oh, oh, a really great stand up. Really sweet, a, decent guys yes. have been dying yes. on me. Yeah. You're right. You yeah. know. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, so, I mean, these are things that really kind of profoundly got to me because I go, you know, how many people have to die before it gets around to me? I mean, I'm, eight, I'm 84, for crying out loud. Shouldn't I be gone by now? Uh, no, you ha you have a little a little more way to go if you, if you're this good now. Yeah. I don't see why you should be gone now. Why what what why um. While you're talking about this, yeah. Uh, do you have any? Um, I don't think it really matters, but do you have any desires or wishes? For things after you're gone because some, well, some people uh, say, well, I, I don't want to be buried in this and well I, I already I already told somebody like one that. of them uh, the other day I told you I was talking to my ex general manager Ed Cramp who has knows some people on the board for the uh, broadcast hall of fame and he said I think mm -hmm. we should get you on it again or at least get you nominated again and I said well that would be very nice I said but do me a favor if I drop dead and they then want to give me a posthumous Hall of Fame award, like they do to so many people, uh, just tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> I said, it's not going to do me any good when I'm dead. 
you do know I what? really I, care? I, Why do they give out these posthumous awards? So what? You should have given it to the guy while he was alive. You can count on me for holding that banner up for you. Really? Because I will, yes. Yeah, uh, I, I don't want I will, say, I will say to them, fuck you and your award for Alex Bennett. Fuck you. And I'm not even saying this on my behalf. I'm saying this for Alex. But I, yeah, I'm saying this on Alex's behalf. And if I you told look him, back I, to, I the, told him I to said, the podcast on YouTube, you can find out that it's true. If they try to give me a, a, a posthumous award, uh, just tell them to go fuck themselves. No, oh, you yeah. tell them now. You tell them now and I'll play the YouTube video. Are you ready? Okay. Hey, Alex, okay. we have a great award that we want to give to you, but <laughs> you're dead, but we're going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> well, I don't want to take your award and shove it up your ass. Oh, that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. I'll, I'll cut that. I'll cut that out, and we'll, I'll send it out send to the. It to I'll put it on your Twitter feed or whatever it, it's called by then, <laughs> X or Y or Z or whatever it's called then. I'll put it on your feed so it'll be a rebuttal, and I bet it'll be the biggest viral uh, tweet. Do they still call them tweets? What are they called now? The biggest viral tweet of the day. Yeah, but anyway, so I, you know, the the other things I got to keep doing while I'm gone. I want to keep my Facebook page going while I'm dead. I don't know how you're going to do that. I think they just keep doing it. And the point being what? I don't know. <laughs> if I can, can I'll try I and it's write like you it, some 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 uh, uh, messages uh, uh, from the hereafter. Well, if you can, but it's like it, I guess it's like a a, a a mausoleum wall, isn't it? It's just like let me look up Alex Bennett. Oh, he's still got his Facebook page on here, but he's been gone for half a century. I still what, want my. I tell you, I just that? did a lot of work on my uh, uh, on the uh, uh, my what do you call it? The, my Roku channel. Uh -huh. Put a lot of stuff up. A lot of stuff up. Uh, in fact, the one thing I'm think one thing I am thinking of putting up is I have the time that Howard Stern came into our studio. Yes, the I only remember. time he visited another show at Sirius XM. So I'm watching this thing, and it was a thing they'd put together with him getting mad about me, and then saying, "Well, let's go over and see him or whatever." But when he's describing me, he says, "You know, Alex Bennett's real name is Bennett Schwarzman, and he's so ashamed of being a Jew he doesn't use that name." And I'm thinking to myself, you know, Howard. You're so into yourself, you don't know what happens with other people. And then I always made a big deal out of the fact that my name was Bennett Schwarzman. I always, you know, we did a thing, uh, we did these things at the Fairmont Hotel once a year called Supper with Schwarzman. You know, I've never been ashamed of that name or being Jewish. It's just that it's easy for him with five letters to have a name in show business as opposed to me with 11 letters to have a name in show business. But you did not say that. No, I didn't know that he had said Why that. Why didn't you say I that? I didn't know he had said that on his show. Because oh, he I, said it on his show. He said oh, that okay. on his show before he came over oh. to see us. So I'm oh, thinking of putting okay, that, yeah. whole, that whole thing up there. I don't know. He can sue oh. me for using it, but I'm going to put it up there. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's your life. Why not? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I guess I, I got, I got to say something, and you probably disagree with me. Uh, you know, I appreciate Howard as a broadcast talent and all of that. Okay, but basically, most of his career was on a foundation of being mean and saying mean things about people. You know, and I think he was just too mean to justify it. You know, I could never, I, you never knew me to get terribly mean about people, you know? Yeah, but you do a different kind of thing. He did that thing at that time, which was right for that time. There's no question about it. There's no question about it. Yeah. And, and, and I, I don't think it, I don't see it as being mean as much as I do see it as being real and not being this radio guy. He was just this okay, but, guy. but I mean, like with what he said about me, that I was ashamed of being Jewish because well, I didn't that use to, my name. That to me is a whole different aspect of, of that persona that he has on the radio, which, which uh, spills over into the books 
Um, and, and that aspect is that I am in charge. I am the one who knows what's going on. And that and that's part of the persona. And that's that's what's yeah, going to be done. Yeah, but it's to the detriment of other people. Well, it is, yes. You know, it I is, mean, all the years mm-hmm. that he went on the air and accused me of stealing his act, you know, I mean, I always, uh, that was kind of personal to me because I never steal anything from anybody. And if I do lift something, I give people credit for it, okay? You know, like uh, as Larry Bubbles Brown used to say, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but, you know, I it, it, that whole thing was terrible because he was a guy who had a great, following he had a large microphone a larger microphone than i ever had and so if he says i stole from him now i'm known as the guy who stole from howard stern when in fact is a very good chance that he stole stuff from me what 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 does it matter it matters only you that's know as the, a, that's okay the- as a talent you you do get bothered by people who say you stole that you know uh, uh, how could I possibly steal from Howard Stern? I was here before Howard was there. Well, but know? that's the whole thing. You have to know that's part of the Howard Stern persona that, that does that. Yeah, but I'm not saying that that's good. I'm not saying that's a thing to base your career on. You know, it's making other people feel bad about themselves. But you shouldn't feel bad about, about that. I don't give a shit now, but, you know. You know, that's like that's like a. a, a I, 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 you know what I hold hold against him the most, and he said it also when he was in our studio that time. Gee, I didn't even know you were here. <laughs> uh, what, Howard? You didn't know? I thought you were doing your show from California or something. Howard, we work in the same on the same floor. You never thought for one moment to say, hey, maybe you should go over and see if I can find Alex Bennett. You know. No, you're yeah. so full of yourself. That, that you may be a get bit it. of a stretch, huh? That may be a bit of a stretch. Well, because he's so full of himself. No, yeah. I don't. Think I so. mean, I'd be. I, I was aware that Howard was there. How could you not? You know, all the noise he makes, all the oxygen he sucks out of a room. Nah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's, that's but, what got him where he's got to be. I guess you know. I'm. I mean, I'm not jealous of any of it. I'm very happy with the career I had. You know. Uh, that's all you need. That's all you need. He never got up to the level of what Howard Stern got up to the level of, but I grew up in a time when there wasn't such a thing as syndication either, you know, and you didn't have that ability to get that large megaphone, as it were. So you know, I mean, I uh, but I'm I've been very happy with my career. I, you know, as I, I sometimes I used to go, oh gee, I wish I had done more and been more, and I suddenly realized I was successful, you know. And I did do why some. Would you, why would you think not? I did do some great radio, so I'm happy for that. You yeah. Know? You shouldn't think any other uh, other way. Yeah. That's, that's the way you should think. Be but, very proud of of, yeah. of what you've done, and and the fun you've had. Yeah, and the people that's, I've that's, met, the that's, people I've worked with, and you know. Yeah. But if you if you if you can get away saying I spent you know. 60, 70, 80, 90 years of my life doing something I loved. How do you not have a great life? You know, it just hit me. I've done something that you can't do in radio really today, but I've had three basically separate careers. There was the persona in New York City originally in which I was the youth guru. Youth guru, Alex. Yeah, that whole thing. And then I went to San Francisco and became the king of comedy. It's a whole different thing. You could go. That was a great thing about radio. You want to go to another town? You go to another town, you change your act. Nobody says, oh, you're not as good as you used to be or anything like that. You just change your act. And then I went back to New York and had a whole slightly different persona when we did uh, Sirius XM. I think you were called the Madman of the Airwaves, weren't you, at that point? No, I was called that. Well, that was that, Howard Beale. I'm sorry, that was Howard. Uh, Beale. No, that uh, I was known as that asshole that's on the sec on the, on the next floor. Anyway, uh, I you know I mean, uh, but it was wonderful because I could reinvent myself each time. Today, people can't reinvent themselves. If they're syndicated, they got to pretty much stay the way they are. 
you know. Um, and it's been fun to have several different personas in several different careers. And that doesn't even take into account your pseudonyms. My what? Your secret personalities. James Bond. Oh, I've, I was that too. Else I, was that, I forgot that. I was James that's Bond right. for two years. That's right. Yeah, that was that was the biggest sham of all time. You know. And what, was that primarily talking about relationship, or what did James Bond do? What was James Bond's shtick? I had an English accent. Don't <laughs> ask me to do it. Everybody says, can you <laughs> no, do the accent? I wouldn't even think of it. I wouldn't even think of it. And what... <laughs> And what, because I know you played that clip about the guy who hated you. <laughs> That's a great clip, the James Bond uh, caller. Um, but but, but what, did you just do regular talk? You just took phone calls? What no, no, the James Bond was a disc jockey. We did a morning show. Oh, morning okay. Morning music show. Yeah. And that was for Gordon McClendon. And I did that for about maybe a year and a half. And then one mm -hmm. day they said, uh, I said, uh, Listen, I'm going to leave the station. And they said, why? I said, because this James Bond thing is yeah. just, I can't, I don't want to die in my grave with that thing happening. Uh -huh. So they said, well, what would you want to do? And I said, I hear you want to do a talk show at night because McClendon wanted to start talk shows on all his rock stations at night. I said, you want to do a talk show? And I, I want that show. Otherwise, I'm leaving. Mm. You know? And that's so I got to get rid of the accent and I got to do a, a, a show. But now I was the man you love to hate. So was it, but you were still James Bond? No, no. Oh. That's when I took the name Alex Bennett. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. originally to make it seem more p p uh, bombastic, it was Alexander Schwarzman, or Alexander yeah. Bennett. Right. Yeah. And did, did the people who hated you as James Bond, did they later hate you as Alex Bennett? No, they didn't night? hate me as James Bond. They loved me as James Bond. That was a happy oh. morning show. I was funny. I was, uh, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. Because yeah. all, I, all I heard was this one guy just screaming at you. He has some kind of Louisiana accent or something like that. That might you know, have been the nighttime show when I was using Alex Bennett. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, may, yes, that, that, that may be it. Yeah. I think he was commenting that you were once James Bond. You're the same guy and you're still yeah. a fraud. No matter who you are, you're still something like that, he was saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I do remember. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I have, I've, had a, I've had a fun career. You know, I can't, I have no, the only, the only thing that's hard about it is that I used to be a big shot. You know, I mean. So did everybody. Yeah. Everybody used to be somebody if they were somebody. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Everybody goes through that. Yeah. There's, no, there's nobody. You know, Elon Musk is going to be a nobody one day. Just wait. Well, we all we all well, wind up. See it, we all wind up in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's right. So you know, but uh, anyway, so you know, I, I I can't I can't gripe about my career. So I don't I don't hold that against. Uh, uh, Howard, but I, I do hold a couple of things against him. Oh, drop it. Let it go. He could have helped us get keep work at Sirius XM. Let, oh, come on. <laughs> what does he have oh. to do with with your job at Sirius XM? Because he had that other channel and he could have put us on it. He could have saved our show and moved it to one of his channels. I can't even listen to this. Oh. You wouldn't want to do that? I, I don't know where you're getting this from. <laughs> no, when we were let go, he had, in fact, he had, they had been approached. Uh, Who had been approached? I had people within the station approach the... the oh, wait a minute. You have people? You had people within the station? Uh, we had a, uh, we had a uh, head of our, cha our, our uh, channel who then went over and took care of Howard's channel. Right. And I talked to him, and he said, I will talk to them. It doesn't sound like a bad idea. And by the way, I know who you're talking about, and that guy is the same guy that when uh, he came to tell you you only have two weeks left, uh, said, I will take you out to lunch uh, after this. And is I'm, and I, I've been thinking about right. writing a note to him to this day that says, don't bother, I ate already. That's right, and and, and and don't bother telling Howard about me and being on the other yeah. channel either. So there it is. But anyway, that, he was approached on that. 
you know. But I mean, I, I look, you know, <laughs> I've so enjoyed doing GabNet that you know, whatever. I, I noticed that the time is starting to run out here. Again, we sat okay. here and we did twenty-five minutes without breathing heavy. You well, know? at least we talked a lot about Alex Ben. Uh, did we? That's what it's about, isn't it? Was it about me? What? Yeah, it's about you. Yeah, it's all about me. Life is all about Alex Bennett. You know. <laughs> Why not? What, is there this anything guy, better? This guy, I got to tell you, we can run over a little bit. This guy here. Okay. There. Okay, that guy there is now, since they've all died, my best friend. And. And. And nothing. I don't, know, I don't know what the point of that is. I just want you to know you have a responsibility now. Oh, hmm. I'm going to have to go on Google what that response <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just don't, I don't know what that is. Aside from, aside from uh, having a laugh with people, that to me is the only thing you need in life. And I just saw you laughing with me, so. Then I, then I, then that's done, why I enjoy it. I've done yeah. something satisfying for Lady, both of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderfully, uh, 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 the wonderfulness that is Albert Reynolds. So thank you, Albert. And my cat. And the cat. Bye. Oh, and by the way, meow. Oh, the cat looked at me. Hmm. Bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And here we are, folks. Ah, yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. I only got one person waiting right now. So, uh, why do I do this? <laughs> why do I do this? You know why I do this? Because I enjoy those interviews that we do. I enjoy Albert, and I enjoy Lori. And maybe I might take just one night a week and not do the callers and just do the three interviews that I normally do. And put them all in one place. That might be, that might be kind of cool. I guess I don't know. But anyway, we do have one person waiting, and uh, it's not a bad person. It's a good, good person. But uh, let me uh, let me get him on here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see here. Oh, there he is. There's Brian oh, Neary. Shit. Hello, Brian. Oh shit. What do you mean? Oh shit. Just you and I. Just you and I. That's it. Yep. That's it. And you know something? You, you Nobody know. else called tonight. Nobody. I just yeah, want I just exactly. want to talk to Brian for an hour. Exactly. And he, Screw and he everybody. And he wants to talk to me for an hour, right, Brian? Yes. I, I'm excited. Let me check my notes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll check my prep. Okay. You know. So anyway. Like the only thing that happened exciting today is my business manager sent me my taxes for this year. So. Oh, I just sent mine out. Yeah. Do you owe money? Yes, I get three thousand back and I pay twelve thousand. So I'm happy. Oh, really? Well, you know when you know when you're paying twelve thousand in taxes, what does that mean? I don't know. That means you made a hell of a lot of goddamn money. <laughs> no, 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 no. Huh? I thought I'd take out a lot of tax. Well, I get a lot of taxes taken out already. And I it just, California Wait, is just terrible. Really? Well, I know I, I pay taxes in California. What was it this year? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I could, I, well, I could go look. I'm not going to go look. Is that from all the GabNet money? No, I still have some money for some reason that I get in California. I, I think it's some of my residuals from like oh. comedy shows I did 25 years ago. Oh, so God. you know that's uh, yeah. So um, let me see here. I I could go look it up. I could find out how much I I have here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's the Jeff and Pam show. Yay! Wait a minute. I can tell you right now. Here's what we here's what we do. I got it up here. Let me see here. Uh, my federal uh, was no no no. That's this is for Marjorie and I together. Oh here we go. Uh, this is the. Oh, yeah, California individual income tax return. I made $305 in California. Wow. And my refund is $24. <laughs> Big time money, huh? 
But I yeah. and I don't know what that that's for. I probably should ask Gary. That's probably I would imagine that's uh, HBO residuals. If I'm not, oh, yeah, mistaken. you don't see any of those checks coming in, huh? They go to your business manager. I send them to have them go to him. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? What? What am I going to do? I'm going to have to send them to him. Now, are those like the one dollar ones? One dollar every. Yeah. Sometimes it's uh, well. I mean, three hundred and five dollars this year. I can't imagine what I made in california other than residuals yeah that i could have made in california so yeah uh it's probably residuals it's probably uh hbo i would imagine because that's the only thing i get residuals from now hmm. to this day 25 almost 25 years later bill maher they keep putting bill maher up on max his mm -hmm. one month night stand where i'm the announcer mm -hmm. on it yeah that has earned me. He's earned me a lot of money over the years. I mean, it's not as much now as it was then, but it's still enough. I mean, $305 this year? What? For doing what? Nothing? 30, 25 years ago? So when you were doing those shows, you're, you had a contract, and they said they're going to pay you $500 or whatever, and then they said every time it airs, we're going to give you a percentage or... Well, no, they had to. What I did is they paid me for doing the warm up on the show and for, uh -huh. and and as a consultant, oddly enough, yeah. you know. But that doesn't pay you residuals. What pays you residuals is if you are talent on the show. And what I did on Bill Maher's show was I announced mm -hmm. the show at the beginning, right. and that alone kept making me money year after year after year after year. And I wish more of the people that had did did shows that year became as popular as Bill Maher and had the last ability of Bill Maher because uh, I'd be making more money. In the early days, I was making like I did uh, 11 of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, each one I would get paid a certain amount of money for every year. But, but how does that, how is that stated in your contract? It's not in the contract. That's union. That's a union. Oh, okay. See, the, the warm up wasn't union. I was just working right. as a, almost like a stand up comic that was warming up the audience. Sure. Okay. And as a consultant, that's not union. But right. the minute I opened my mouth and it went on the air, then I get residuals. Huh. But the residuals just say that you get a certain percentage and then that's how you get like. No, there's a no percentage. There's a, there's a, there's a res residual uh, uh, scale. There's a whole thing, uh -huh. you know, for it. Wow. I remember the first year I did it, it was a lot more than it was now. Mm -hmm. uh, when I originally did it, I think I got maybe $150 for each show. Oh, wow. And yeah. then every year I would get like $25 a show, and there were like eight, nine of them. Hmm. So, you know, after a while that adds up. At the end, you know, I mean, Bill Maher has uh, made me a small little fortune over the years. Not, you know, nothing I'm Why don't you uh, just have your business manager forward them to your goddaughter? My goddaughter? Yeah, Adrian uh, Neary, <laughs> Brian's daughter. Brian's daughter. Well, um, I would, uh, I'm but, sure I, she would but I'm it. a selfish son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, it's funny. He's taking care of from me. She's she. I've talked to her several times on the drives. Make sure she understands. So understands what. That that when I'm gone, she's taken care of. She she has to have that mindset of what do you want to do in life, and make sure that she focuses on that after I'm gone. So, well, but why are you talking to her about you being gone? Not well, because because you never know. Hey, you my know, mom, you know, my dad, mom away. dad could my mom kick away. dad could kick the bucket any moment now, and you're well mm. taken care of. Oh, good. good. I Alex. hope I hope Daddy dies, and I'll have money. <laughs> My mom died when she was 37. Listen, Jeez, you hit 37 and you go, holy shit, that's young. I'm coming to a lot of money because of somebody that I thought the world of. Yeah. I would rather not be getting that money. I would uh, rather I, that person be alive right now. Five minutes with that person. Yeah, I, I yeah, totally yeah, yeah. You know, so, I mean... Uh, um, uh, you know, you just don't, uh, you just don't want to think in terms of that. You're going to be around for a long time. You're going to be here long after I'm gone. And you know, you're going to, you're going to be on that show where everybody gets together and says, wasn't he a son of a bitch, you know? Uh, but uh, uh, we're going to go to your funeral, you know, and all these stars are going to pop up like, Oh yeah. Oh, we, you know, this all this bullshit. 
and all of us are going to say, yeah, asshole, she, he could have used you on his show and you never call him. No, well, what I'm hoping is that uh, uh, Marjorie outlives me because if uh, she doesn't outlive me, they'll, nobody will be coming to my funeral. <laughs> okay, I don't Alex, even have what any... you need to do is leave us a uh, get back request. at them list. Yes, a list please. that we can go after them. Yes, and we will all go. Speak we can leave that. We just leave us a fuck you list. A fuck yes. you list. We'll take care of it for you. Let me see who's on that list. Uh, we'll take, uh, oh, we, I'm uh, sure you got a few. Not really. Yeah. You know, as years have gone on, and as I've gotten older, I've gotten less um, nasty about these things. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure. Uh, you know, so I mean, I don't think there's anybody that I want to get even with when I die. Yeah, Wait, you know how that let me think. It's either that or they're think. gone already. So let me think. That's um, kind of getting back hmm. at them already. Hmm. How about the uh-huh. guy? Think, think about Florida, he says. <laughs> yeah. well, the only person that I would want to uh, to get even with or something in Florida, he already died. Right. Oh, yeah, That's I what I was saying. That. Yeah. Yeah. You probably got a few that have already been taken I'm care of. I'm trying to remember you. his name now. I can't even remember his name. Uh, maybe somebody on the. Uh, on the thing here. Was, oh, the guy you were talking about from with Laurie last night. Yeah, I can't remember his name now. I can't remember his name either. <laughs> so he, last he, night. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think. Did she say the name? Yeah. And I forgot it already. Yeah, you both did. Yeah. Oh boy. It's a good thing there isn't a contest for a trip somewhere. Yeah, yeah. What was said on Alex's show last night? Last yeah. night. Yeah. And, <laughs> and even I wouldn't wish it ill on him. You know. But uh, I know, but you know, hmm? I'm like, there, there are some people you talk about, you know, and, and and I know that those guys were on the show, you know, in Live 105 and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and it'd be really cool to hear some of those people, you know, and interviews and stuff, you know. Live 105? No, I'm just saying front. No, not not work there, but I mean like the the comics you had on that show, you know. Well, I do. If you go, if you have Roku and you go to my Roku channel, there's a lot of that there. Yeah, we're talking about now, though. Yeah, yeah, but just hear him now, you know. Yeah, I mean, so, I've got interviews. Like I can pl- I can play him here. We with need like... to see Kenny. Exactly, Tom Kenny would be so cool to hear. Well, see, I don't have talk. video on on those. Most no, of those. No, but right, right, right now he's talking about on the show. Yeah, Tom go get, Kenny, if you're out there get, watching, please call. Alex. Yeah, SpongeBob, get your get your ass out I, to I Alex's imagine place. Imagine if I if I knew how to get a hold of him. You see, here's what happens. If you don't get a hold of these people and they're well known, you know, like yeah. Patton Oswald, good example. Okay. Oh, yeah. Patton, if, I, yeah. if I were to able to get a hold of Patton, he would probably come on and do my show. Okay. Just out of an old time favor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how to get a hold of him. Okay. Give us a list of those people and we will get a hold of them. You'll get a hold of I, them. I, you know, I listened to the comic, comedy thing on, on my Sirius XM. And there's like six or seven channels in a row, so I always bounce around back and forth. And Patton's always on there, and I mean he he's hysterical. His his storytelling is is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I love Patton. They're all freaking taped though. Huh? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, uh, um, uh, you know, if I could get a hold of Patton, probably I, he would he would do the show. If I could get a hold of uh, Tom Kenny, I'm, I I imagine he would say, "Oh, Alex, sure, I'd be happy to do it for you." Okay, probably so I'm we, gonna we represent. Can... I, I'm gonna be your manager. There's another manager who is I know producer. Here. There's another producer here, but he's not doing his job, so I'll take it on myself. Who asked him to producer. be producer? <laughs> What's, the, What's his name? Uh, Amy, <laughs> and not Amy, but uh, Jack Bishop. He's Jack Bishop's producer. How's that yeah. going for you? <laughs> not, not very good. I'm not even getting the $300 a year. <laughs> After like one month, all of a sudden, he's off the show. What did he say? It was going to be $300 a year to produce his show? No. Mm. <laughs> I didn't want it. I don't know where he came up with it. I have no experience in it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it was funny though. Yeah. Does uh, yeah, there, has, has Amy a... has Amy said she's heard from him lately? She must No, I ask how come he doesn't come on the show. She doesn't know. Huh. There I there is a the, I talked to him on the phone a couple weeks ago and I said uh when are you going to get on the show? He says, I don't know. Maybe one of these days I might even let Alex know I'm not doing the show. And I went, wow, still. I might let Alex know I'm not doing the show? Yeah, he never did tell me he wasn't doing no, he the didn't. show. Well, how did I find out about it? I just, he, I guess I flipped the... Who's these guys? Huh? Me. 
You. Yeah, from me. I said, I yeah. said, you know, Jack's not doing the show anymore. And he said, oh, son of a bitch. He didn't call me and let me know. Mm-hmm. Right. That, that's how good a boss I am. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, I just, uh, I uh, nobody wants to tell me when they're quitting. <laughs> they just don't. I just flip the switch and there's nobody there anymore. Amy's doing a great job. Amy's doing a terrific job, you know. I really have to, I should take time out to, you know, praise her for what she's been doing. She, uh, she to be honest with you, she really surprised me, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. But she's done a great job. And, uh, and she's, she's also pretty good at at uh, the technology part of it so i never have to in the old days i used to have to worry about whether you know jack even could get on and there were and jack usually if it was you know at the end of the thing she they have to post their show to the playlist okay so that means taking a recording of the show and dropping it in the playlist and it would take him 25 minutes 30 minutes sometimes it took him 45 minutes you know how long it takes amy I don't know how she does it. Two, Two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So, you know, she's made my life easy. She got a new computer for the show. Yeah, I know. I you know. know, Jack Bishop claimed he had a new one, but nobody would set it up for him. I'm getting a new computer for this show. Yeah, Even though go. this one works fine, but I just want to get one better than, um, uh, what's his name, Scott? Than, uh, Phil. Phil. Phil Scott, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting Can the you- new one that's an M2. And uh, I'm getting it with four terabytes of SSD memory. I'm getting it so it's got uh, 128K uh, of, uh, 128, uh, what is it? Mega, megabits, I think, of something or whatever. So can, oh, you warn us when you're, can you warn us when you're changing over the computer so we can take some time off because we, we it may be a couple of days. No, I don't have trouble with that. You know why? What I do is I have uh, the backup drive, right, for this machine. And then I simply take the new machine, I turn it on, it goes, you want this, you want that, how are you doing this, how are you doing that? Uh-huh. And then they go, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, uh, put in your, you know, emulate your old hard drive, or your old SSD, uh, just simply plug in your, uh, your backup drive. So I plug in the backup drive from here. And I just go, and when I'm finished, I can just unplug here, plug the new one in, all the stuff's there where I need okay. it. And, you know, maybe a few things I have to adjust and so on. But outside of that, it's very easy. It's a very easy process. Jack had trouble finding the on off button on his computer every night. <laughs> really? No, I, no, I'm being sarcastic, but. I mean, it's like you know. Every well, I'm not. I'm not putting down Jack for that. Jack never was a tech happened. guy. J- Jack was, he was never technical. He no. was never technical, and I I yelled at him about it because I said, "Look, we live in a business that is constantly changing. You know, the tools you use are constantly mm-hmm. changing. I mean, uh, when I used to do a radio show, and when I first started out, that I, I was all you had to know how to do is run run a tape recorder. You know." Uh, uh, so I mean, it was really simple, um, but as time has gone on, you've had to know how to use a computer and so on. He said, "I hate the computers; they just never get them work." And I went, "Look, you know, that's your new tool. If you don't use that tool, then forget it. You're not in radio. Any radio station you would go to right now would want you to be able to run that kind of equipment." You know, they probably most radio stations probably have all the music on a hard drive. And you select from it on the most computer. radio you station. Push. There's nobody there anymore. Well, that, I yeah. don't know. you know, we have a thing in San Francisco called the new live 105. You know what's happened? What, where it's broadcast out of a closet. <laughs> you know, they just plug in a computer in a closet and then they run their program from programming from there. Oh. Hi, Tony. How you? Oh, I don't know. I do. Have you had coffee today? I did. Okay. I was going to tell you. Oh, okay. Here we Pat go. Pat Oswalt is on Manhunt. On uh, I just was watching the miniseries. Yes, I know. <clears throat> oh, okay. so I didn't mention it. Oh, what? I started watching uh, the bear. I started watching the bear. The bear is actually. I had a hard time getting into it. I watched one episode and I went, eh. 
And then yeah. we waited, and then I went back, and we watched another episode, and we kind of liked it, and then we watched another episode, and eventually we said, boy, that's a good series. You yeah, know? I, I watch a lot of the, you know, these podcasts when I'm driving, but I, I listen, I don't watch. So, uh, But, you know, a couple of the comedians, Burt Crusher, and he has one one podcast, Something's Burning, so he has a couple of people, but he had the, the, the w- lady who's the sister, you know, the blonde girl, like in the first episode, she came and visited him, and yeah. then the... Uh, the guy Maddie, the guy who's uh, who's the uh, he's the fix it guy, Fac, mm-hmm. Fac, Fac, whatever. He's that guy, but he's actually he that's that guy who actually won the one of the uh, cooking competitions. So actually, he's a chef, but he didn't want to play a chef when he got the role for you know for helping out, advising. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's the fix it handyman guy, you know. Oh, okay. So uh, so I saw them on that podcast and I started watching. It. I remember it's you, it's you a very good it. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I was very surprised that I wound up liking it as much as I did. Mm-hmm. And Marjorie, mm-hmm. too. She was amazed. Yeah, you know. so I'm going to start binging it this weekend. We watched one season and said, that's pretty good. Let's go watch the next season. We watched the next season. We went, that's really good. Yeah. And some of the performances, like the woman on the show, mm-hmm. uh, the black woman who uh, plays Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Try, yeah, try to remember her name. Be some Sydney. weird name she's got. Uh, she's terrific. She's mm-hmm. just the best. I mean, it's a good show. It's a really yeah. good show. And we just got through watching uh, this thing I told you about last night, and I can't remember the name of it again. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the uh, war thing. About, about the Cold War. It's nine episodes. Nine hours on the Cold War. And I got to tell you, that is, that's kind of a slog when you watch it because it's so heavy. There's so much material being thrown at you at one time. Mm. But man, it is, it, it's, there are like things there that I, I went, was I like in a stupor or something when I went through certain parts of my life and I didn't know what was going on? Because it brings up stuff that was going on that I went, really? <laughs> that happened? And yeah. when they get into this episode about how we almost annihilated ourselves just <laughs> because a computer didn't work right, you know, is just, it's, it's a phenomenal series, and I'm trying to remember what it's called now. I guess I have to go over to Netflix and find the name, otherwise the audience out there will hate me. Netflix. Netflix. Okay, there we go. Watch uh, online, and the name of the show is Alex. Let me get the name of the show. Uh, it's uh, well, it isn't here. I don't have it here. Huh? Son of a bitch. Well, I uh, I wish I had it here, but I don't have it here. Although I watched last night's show if you want uh, to see. Huh? It. Yeah, I'll just play. I'll play that. last night's show. <laughs> yeah, you did that last night. <laughs> and we'll. Uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Oh, let me go to her name. And it might just give me uh, that thing. I am range to tip a tip to No, 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 no. By the way, if you get a chance, watch uh, Three uh, Body Problem. Very strange show. Very good. <laughs> strange Body Problem. What's, what is, oh, Turning Point, it's called. Turning mm. Point. And it's basically, it's a whole a whole nine episodes of an hour each or a little more than an hour each about uh, uh, the Cold War and surviving the Cold War and what went on during the Cold War and and Mm. uh, guess what Uh, um, um, Charlie is blurry yeah Charlie you're blurry you're blurry Uh, I feel blurry you've been working hard whoa yeah you've been working hard okay by the way, uh, here comes Bree. Pro- uh, undoubtedly, he's going to. Uh, well, maybe he's not here. Charlie likes my uh, way of unblurrying himself. Oh, that's a new shirt, Charlie, huh? Is that a new shirt? Here comes well, here comes like, here comes yeah. Bree. Hmm? Bree is in a shadow. There, he's the profile. Of profile. Somebody. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh. But anyway, so it's a. It, it, what? Oh, there we go. What? What is it? Are you? Hmm. It's you not like you turned. Light behind him. No, you got a light behind you. Yeah, that's. And when I'm you doing. aren't blocking it a little bit, say yeah, yeah. Turn that around. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the way it should be. Yeah, he looks so businesslike with that shirt on and everything. 
You know, it's amazing. Yeah. I got to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the fact that our good friend Bree is in Malaysia and he looks the same as somebody who was in New York like Tony yeah. in quality. I mean, there was a time where when... I, like Tony. Huh? <laughs> Tony's got hair. I remember... <laughs> Hanging in there. <laughs> I remember years ago when I was... Uh, um, uh, working at uh, we did play tv and we had um a show coming from revelstoke british columbia with revelstoke jim and when we tried to do it with video it was so blurry you could barely see it you mm. know and it was impossible to do any better because we didn't have <clears throat> that uh, enough bandwidth and now look look at uh, look at our friend in, in malaysia he may as well be next door I'm glad he's not, but he may as well be next door. I'm coming over for some sugar. Uh, are you really going <laughs> to knock on the door? Or yeah. Two eggs. So anyway, um, today was uh, not a good day for Donald Trump, by the way. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. A lot of different little things. I don't really have them all here, and maybe I should just bring up, like, Drudge, and it'll probably... Oh, I don't know. The judge told him in Florida and the... In the uh, documents case, that they wouldn't ex that they wouldn't wipe that out. That they're still going on with the trial. Yeah, and but she's the one. To... She's the one that seems to have been slowing everything up. Yeah. Well, she's yeah, she's slowing up the trial. But she, his lawyer said, well, if you're going to do that, why don't you just throw it out? And she said, no. And uh, what else happened to him today? I don't know. She has six more decisions on her ta on her table as well to, to figure out before. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it, it seems as though he here in New York, that trial, uh, he, he, the judges said he tried to claim immunity or whatever, and she, he said maybe if you had done that five months ago when this whole trial started, yeah. we could have ruled on it. But now it's too late to do that sort of thing. So I'm not Discovery going to. Discovery is over with. Huh? Yeah. Discovery is over. Yeah, with. right. And mm. so the, the trial's going to go on uh, a April uh, 15th. Yeah. Tax yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, April 15th, he's he has to go on trial in what is, by the way, a criminal trial. Yeah. So Lock who, him up. Hmm? Lock, Lock him up. up. I agree, Charlie. Lock him lock, up, lock him up. Lock him up. Well, I think we should give him a trial first, and then we should hang him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, let's be fair about this. You know, but I mean, it's, it's uh, so we're going to have a good trial. That's going to be a good trial. Plus, I think they can have a camera in the, uh, in the, um, the courtroom. Courtroom? I was just going to ask that. Oh, that'd be awesome. That... Well, you see, what what will happen if there are cameras there? He's going to act up. Mm -hmm. Of course. And he's, he's going to ruin his case. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't learn to shut up in a lot of these other cases. And they're all slapped. Like, which judge uh, currently, I think it was the one in the, with the, uh, 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 you know, Stormy Daniels thing, who said, uh, here are your limitations of what your free speech is, you know. You can't say this, and you can't talk about my assistant. You can't talk about my. He was he was publishing pictures of the judge's daughter. Yeah. Now you know what did she? What a real winner. Yeah. What did she do that was wrong? You know. Wow. They yeah. ought to get him for child endangerment. Yeah. Well, how, I mean, how old is the daughter? all yeah, all that's got to happen is he's got to open his mouth about something like that. Somebody's going to get hurt. And when they get hurt, you know, but listen, I think, hurt. I think, you know, if anything is going to doom him uh, in his bid for the presidency, it's going to be that at some point he is going to be so full of himself that he's going to say something. It's just going to everybody will just get rid of him, except the diehards, the real diehards, because uh, he's, he's so egotistical that he thinks he can say anything and get away with. And so far, it's been true. But, you know, only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. He doesn't need to spend any money on advertising. That no, wants. MSNBC gives him all the free advertising he wants. <laughs> they all do. 
You know, I always say to Marjorie every day, well, let's go over and see what's happening on the, t on the, on the Trump channel. She said, what do you mean? I said, MSNBC. That's all they're ever talking about. It's not like there isn't any other. You know, I tune into like uh, I, Rupert Murdoch's outfit, Sky News, okay? Um, you go over there, there's a whole different bunch of news, you know, and stuff that's important, you know, war breaking out somewhere or some kind of a earthquake somewhere or whatever. And, you know, it's, it really sucks. It really sucks. I mean, MSNBC just didn't get the message, didn't get the memo when they did this in 2016 where he didn't have to buy any advertising because he got all the free advertising he wanted from, from MSNBC, CNN, and especially Fox. What advertising did you see him buy back then? You know. And he's going to need to get free advertising because he doesn't have any money to spend on the on the on the situation. Plus, he's got all these. He, they say his legal bills this year are going to come to a half a billion dollars. So, you know, which is fine with me. Absolutely. You know. I saw something flash up, but I didn't see. I didn't open up the article but they were talking about who gave him the 175 million dollars yeah it was some guy who owns he has a he has a company that does this sort of thing um, um he's lent the money before and i guess he's got it back before yeah uh, but but did you read that one of the major investors in uh, truth social is it what that's, was it? that's who he's from yeah he's one of the oh, well that's investors. not the guy that's giving him the uh the, I uh, think I thought it was no. I think the guy got busted for insider trading. Is this is a guy who's no, he's not has been busted yet. He's been charged with insider yeah. trading. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's where where Trump is getting his money. That's where he got uh, some of his money from, you know, for Truth Social. Uh, and then he's got all these these two other people who started Truth Social for him. There were two oh, kids, Don, yeah. right? Don Hakey, Hanky. Yeah. Oh, Don Henke is the guy who who gave him bailed him out. Right. Yeah. Is the oh. is the bail guy built his por fortune through car dealerships. But so. wasn't it something else he did too? I thought that I thought I heard something else. Yeah. 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 But sure. um, yeah, it doesn't say. But uh, these two guys who helped him start True Social, who probably started True Social. Cause, they you know, did, yeah. I mean, they what does idea. what does Trump know about you know starting exactly. a website? You know, Knight Specialty Insurance was the other one. Yeah. So he, but he doesn't, uh, you know, he didn't know, doesn't know what to do. So what happened is, he's trying to get them out of making any money off of this. He's pulling a Zuckerberg on Facebook. Well, that's, it, that's it, exactly what Zuckerberg did to those two guys. Well, they got money. They got yeah, they got they money. Got but they could have got more. Out. Exactly, they could have got more if they would have went to their lawyers early enough. Yeah, but they got something like three hundred million a piece or something. I can't remember now. The, Z <laughs> the Winkle Voss twins. Yeah, I, I read that yeah. whole thing on them. It's holy shit. Yeah, but the, 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 with, yeah, this yeah. is worse than that. These are guys who started the whole thing for him, and I guess told him you have. That's we're going to give you. I'm going to give you a piece of the action. And mm -hmm. now that it looks like this thing is going to make money on stock market, couldn't do it. By the way, how I remember he's a repo dude. He 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 yes, uh, yes. loans money to sub subprime loans to uh, people with bad scores. Oh, yep. and then goes out and re he I think he repos like 250 cars a day nationwide. Wow, or wow. really? It's insane. Wow. So well. he you know gives people bad loans like he's doing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, goes out and replows the car. It's funny, it, it, and then sells them. Yeah, what I see is is Trump is going to go home to Mar-a-Lago, pull up to the front door, and the, it's not going to be there anymore. Yeah, they're going to come after something. <laughs> yeah, you know. right yeah. And how much did he say it was worth again? He inflated that like something crazy. Yeah, what? until they take it away, then it'll be Mar-a-Lago. Mar he said it was. Bucks. He said it was worth like. Uh, I don't know a billion and a half dollars, and it's only been it's the the local uh, people there have estimated its worth at a hundred and fifty thousand. A million. Uh, oh, uh, what? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, you mean million? Million. Excuse me, hundred fifty million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I would have believed thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. But I mean, everything he, you know, everything we've talked about with Trump, he is the worst person to do any type of dealings with. Everything is really true about this guy. There's, oh, there's I, no redeeming qualities on him. I wouldn't loan him money. Are you kidding me? I mean, he's not giving anything to Rudy. You don't hear Rudy anymore, Alex. Rudy's lawyers must have told him to be quiet because he's probably dying on a vine. I'm waiting for him to pull his obituary. Oh, up oh Rudy's in trouble. He's in, he oh, has yeah. no money left. He has no money left. And his good pal, who he's been, was really loyal to, Donald Trump, has done nothing to help bail him out. No. You oh. know. You don't want to be friends with Donald Trump because he he, requ he requires extreme loyalty on your part and none on his. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. how how dastardly this guy is. Hmm? Yeah, it's amazing how not a nice how person. he still has a core group of followers. Really, that's what I don't understand. Well, I just know so many dumb people there are in this. Country. Well, I mean, if he if he wins the presidency, there are a lot of dumb people in this country. I, would be I mean, shocking. how you can how you can even vote for this guy considering you know all the all the uh, problems he's got and all the things he's been accused of you know and and you can only yell witch hunt yeah Most, i was gonna answer that Alex. how long can you keep going it's the same and, thing all the time it's witch hunt witch hunt it's uh, joe biden i'm gonna tell crooked, you crooked this. joe it used to be crooked, crooked. hillary well, now it's yeah, crooked yeah. joe I mean, don't you only have the right to use one crooked in a lifetime? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. There's a lot of Trump. Can you imagine right? looking at yourself in the mirror every day and saying, God, I'm getting over 150,000 people. I feel good. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I if, if this country reelects him, it's what this country deserves. No. Okay? Uh, and uh, good luck with that. Maybe, maybe he'll bring Netanyahu in as vice president. Well, today, Joe Biden mm -hmm. told Netanyahu that if you what don't do you? something to start clearing up the problems in, in uh, Gaza, the problems you've created, we're not going to give you any more money. Uh, it wasn't exactly put that way, though. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I would like, I, I, I've, I've told you, I'm not voting for Joe Biden. Not until he takes a tough stance. On Gaza, with would Israel. you not vote then, Alex, or just go third party? I, no, I won't vote. What he, yeah, he then he doesn't get my vote. Look, it doesn't matter. I live in New York. He's going yeah, to say something. We live in New he's York. He's going to get the electoral votes from New York anyway. Mm -hmm. But me not voting at least gives him one less in a number. And if more people do that, then Biden's going to say, "Well, I took New York, but not by very much." True, true. You know, and that that probably will send a message to him. Um. I, I'm sure Charlie disagrees with me, right, Charlie? Yeah. What's my vote worth? It's worth one vote, same as well, mine. One vote, yeah, but then it gets boiled down into like 78 in my state, 78 votes. Okay, so if I don't even go in to vote, he's still mm. going to get the 78 votes, right? So it doesn't matter whether I vote or not, but when he looks at the total number of so many people voted for Biden, so many people voted for Trump, and he sees that he did, didn't do as well as he thought he was going to do, he can say it probably was because I didn't do something right. You know? I mean, how else, what, else, what other method do I have to... to uh, if I thought, if I were living in a state where uh, Trump was going to get the electoral votes, then I'd be voting. Okay, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even think okay. twice. If I lived in Texas, okay, in I, Texas. I would go out and vote because, you know, what are the chances that, you know, that Biden's going to win in Texas? Not very good. So you, yeah, every you can, Democrat can, wants can. to get out that can possibly get out and do it. And I would do it. But I live in New York. This state's going yeah. for Biden. I don't, you know, this how many months before the election? They're going for Biden. How's that? I'm, I've got ESP. Mixed in with a little N as well, so yeah. you know. But I've got ESP. I mean, come on. Am I? Uh, let me see how how uh, Bree feels really? about that. Would you agree, Bree, that in a state like New York, whether I vote or not doesn't really matter? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Michigan. Michigan would be a different Ooh, story. Michigan's tough. You know. Yeah. That's where I think it comes down to this time, and uh, Trump could win it. 
Oh, I don't think it'll come down to Michigan. I think it might come down to P- Pennsylvania, oh, something like that. Who knows? Favorite. Who knows? Uh, It'll I, be a dark day if he wins that night. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I don't think so. Really? I, I would. It'd make me sick, really, to see a crook go in the White House. Mm-hmm. He's making a mockery of democracy, really. I uh, think so. There, there's there are two there are different realities here there's a mediated reality and then there's sort of a political reality you know and uh he if he's so bad why is, you know the country is still going um i have an answer so, for that yeah i mean the country's racist still and they haven't gotten over barack being the president and they still want to act like the confederates in the civil war i hate to say it I don't, uh, I don't buy into, you know, all of these uh, doom and gloom. Everything is, you know, going to be terrible. I, sorry. I, well, you know something? Uh, I'll tell you. The night that uh, Trump, Trump was elected, I woke up Marjorie to tell her Trump had been elected. She said, I woke her up and she said, well, uh, who won? And I mm-hmm. said, Trump. And she said, oh, my God. And my first mm-hmm. reaction to her was, well, hold on. Let's wait and see. You know, mm-hmm. uh, this is... Uh, don't I, jump out the window yet. Well, I, I <laughs> always had this idea that this is a pretty resilient democracy and that it could survive even a terrible presidency. But mm-hmm. I said, you know, somebody becomes president and all of a sudden they feel a responsibility, okay? And, and so then it doesn't turn out as bad as you thought it was going to be. I said, but I got to tell you, after the four years were over, I went, it was as bad as it could be. I mean, I, yes, the democracy was still here, but he's going to have another chance to tear it down completely. And because he's got these jerks voting for him in the first place, he just might get away with it. Unless, of course, they're going to have to have him do his oath of office while he's in jail. I mean, just look at January 6th. I mean, he led, he led them to smash the whole place up. I'm telling you, he's. I think he's going to go down. I'm not bullshitting you. He's going to go down as bad as Hitler. I'm telling you. Well, January not, as, 6th, not as bad as Hitler. Not as bad, but he's right. going to be, because nobody's as bad as that. But he's going to be under like I'm that gonna second say, If you said he was like Hitler, I'd say, please, don't put Hitler down like that. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I'm trying to mean like he led a riot. That they had to evacuate those people. Oh, it was terrible. Did you ever think you, you would see that in your lifetime? It's terrible. Did he you told know, the did police you know? to let them in with guns because they weren't coming after him. He didn't care who they were coming after with their guns. Let them in. Yeah. Well, I mean, they weren't coming after him. also, I heard something today. And it, it kind of became weird to me, but it I guess maybe it's true. They said that there was somebody that actually brought a bomb into the Capitol. Wow. I believe And it may have even gone off. Uh, you know. Trump says Hillary did it. Yeah, Hillary did it. Right? <laughs> you know. But I mean, I, I you know, I know where where um, uh, Bree is coming from. But I don't agree with him where Trump is concerned. I think he's capable of taking down the democracy. I think if he's got a Supreme Court on his side that'll vote the way he wants them to vote, he can get certain things passed which will curl your hair. You know? Well, we know he can because he tried to in Georgia. He told him, go find me 11,000 votes. Right on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, he didn't hold the money up to that guy too. And what was the time he didn't want to give him money Unless he uh, played along with him, he was muscling the guy. Which which one? Kind of like the mob, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like Gotti. Well, we'll vote Gotti, and fuck it, he's all right. And th- these are the things that we found out. What about all the stuff? Yeah, that this is that what we you found out about, about the guy. Done stuff for him. Yeah. Well, I don't think he knew much about how to be the president or respected the job, you know, or the responsibility that goes with it. That's what I I worry about. You know, I worry about more than him ditching the democracy and de- all of that. Suppose we had a situation, like let's take what's going on in Gaza right now. Mm. Do you think Trump could handle that? Well, that's, just, I that's my Trump answer handle- right there. Oh, can I answer one? <laughs> Alex, I think if Trump was in, I told my brother this, and I'll tell you guys. 
he would have handed that Russia, Putin would have won this war already. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been a war. He would have said, here you go. Well, if he gets elected, uh, Ukraine will not yeah, get well, money. You can just kiss that whole thing goodbye. No, yeah. but re- remember he was saying that. He was saying, if, I was pr- if I'm president, I'll stop this war immediately. Yeah. All these poor people getting killed over there, and I could stop it right away. It's like, then why don't you do it? Yeah, he didn't have to be him. president to be able to do that. Well, you, know? you, you remember Putin when he was asked about Donald Trump? He basically <laughs> said, "I think he's an idiot." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's his idiot. I remember that. Huh? He's he's his idiot. He, he says one thing. He wants him in in, in power. Yeah, so he, he can continue to play him. So he can play him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They get over. I'd love to hear the conversation. If it got free about what him and my pillow guy oh. talked about. <laughs> well, the horrible thing about him being president is we're probably going to be forced by law to sleep on those pillows. My mother had one. They were not good, Alex. I'm telling you. I disagree. Really? I, I, I have them and I love them. They're the most comfortable pillows. Of... Maybe yeah, I your mother wasn't. Your, Tony, your mother wasn't as fat as me, so mm. I need the extra support. Maybe she got a. Maybe yeah, she got a bum pole. They're not. Uh, they're not. They're, what are they? They're just like cut up. I, I, I still have, have it up in my in memory the, foam. They're yeah. Left mattress is all chopped up. My no. mother's A and S pillows were just as good. I thought actually. Well, maybe your mother wasn't comfortable with you being there. Well, I need a new. I need a couple of new pillows, but I ain't. You going want my pillow? Well, I guess I'll buy you one. Right, I'm not going. Have, no. I'm not now, right. People, do not send me my <laughs> pillow. Do not send me my pillows. Okay. <laughs> Would you really don't do the my pillow? All right. No. I wonder what they cost though. No. I don't know how much they cost. Anybody know? I'm fifty dollars. How much? I'm not. I'm not spending fifty, Alex. That's too fifty much bucks for <laughs> that pillow. Come on, I can get it for like I go to it's made, it's it's made out of thirty-nine bucks on the bottom shelf of Rite Aid. <laughs> trying to get rid of them. He's right, forty-eight dollars. And they really wanted to get rid of them. They put them on the top shelf and make them twenty-nine dollars. Oh, yeah, like well, oh, that was oh, about no, a year Alex, ago too. Thirty dollars right now. They're marked down on sale from forty on Amazon. Yeah, send send Alex a dozen. You know why they're marked down, don't you? <laughs> they're going here. It's a red sale right now. He, he needs to sell them. He yeah. needs to move the product. <laughs> They're probably going to chop you up quick, bagging that shit. You know, America. if you weren't such an idiot, I'd feel sorry for the guy. Because he took a business he that did, was doing pretty said. well for him. He was doing really well with it. And Not completely bad for, uh, for an ex-con, huh? No, right? you were saying he's... Pr- pr- prison time. Did he, did he serve pill? prison time? I thought he was just a drug addict. No, he's no, a Maybe he's, he went to jail. But I he mean, he jail. just took he took a he took a money making business, and I feel sorry for the people who work for him, probably getting fired like crazy because he can't afford to pay them anymore. You know. You get it. But I mean, that was a, that was a money making operation. Oh, you by get the a ten year warranty on his pillow. By the way, money making operation. Did I tell you last night mm-hmm. about this woman on YouTube? Yeah, who yeah has the these has these uh, golden retrievers. Can you post a link up? I wanted to see them. Well, just to go. Let them finish, Tony. Oh, sorry. Uh, I can't remember what her name is now, but anyway. Yeah. So I started looking at a couple of more of hers, and I'm looking at the amount of people, and and you know this, Kevin, because they tell you on the on there how many people have watched that video, right? I no. saw one today. Fifty-five. Thousand, uh, 55 million views. I should do more. Do you know how much money she made for 55 million views? I'm afraid it's what? Think, think uh, 55 times 4,000. What does that come out to? I've never talked about it. Wow. Yeah, something like $200,000. For, <laughs> for one video. For one video. Everybody out there, like. The the Gabnet show the the ramble yeah right yeah. fine that's why everybody you know, if I have my way I'm and next time they're leaving this cat with us I'm yeah. just I'm just gonna take a <laughs> video of the cat sleeping all day did your you cat know? Alex Sh- Shivas did he wasn't he going in the bowl I wonder if that would have been worth money if you could have videotaped it what remember you said one of your cats was actually going in yeah into she's the been dead bowl? for thirty years now I know too yeah. big you didn't have that on tape though or video there that was a videotape then. Oh, yeah. shit. You know. 
I would have been. Uh, Tony said shit. Now you're going to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine? I mean, people love she to. She made, I, by my estimation, $200,000. Yeah. Off of that one video. And that's not the only video. There's another one with 30 million viewers. Yeah. Most of them are at least two and a half million viewers. I mean, this woman has probably made a million bucks off of her videos of her goddamn golden retrievers. But they're nice dogs, too. So I was thinking, like, the next time they bring the cat over, this Berta, I'm just going to start videotaping her, but only when she's sleeping. And I'm just going to call it, you know, a day with Bird of the Cat and then just lots of shots of her sleeping. I, I bet I get I bet I get a million views. People love animals. I used to watch the funniest old videos when they used to do that stuff. You know? There's some guy on YouTube that went and got a, got a lobster that was going to be sold, put it in a, in a saltwater tank, and after a couple months, its claws started working. It's a pet lobster. The guy's got millions and millions of viewers watching Fred the Lobster. It's got a male's name. He doesn't know if it's what a am male. I doing? What am I doing wrong here? Okay. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure uh, um, Bree will tell me what I'm doing wrong here if I really want to know. But uh, you know, I, I need I need I actually. A... I actually have a book coming out later this year, sort of about that. So. I'll send you a copy. Okay, well, I just need a couple of golden retrievers if you got a chance. Uh, and, uh, you know, and the, and then she anthropomorphizes these uh, these uh, these golden retrievers. Mm -hmm. They like have captions of things they're saying in their mind, oh, or when they woof what they're saying. Oh, and God. one of them wears a bow tie. You know, oh, come on, better than Trump. I tell you that. <laughs> I'm, yeah, nice I'm not kidding you. Yeah, 55 no, million it. views. I couldn't believe it. And, and this one that they were doing, I think it got the 55 million, was they were comparing different foods that they could eat, Ooh. like chicken and beef and things like that, and whether they would eat them or not. Another video that got, I don't know, many, many millions of views was one in which she tape, put some tape up that they had to jump over to get the food, and she kept Ooh. raising the tape higher and higher, and they kept... Yes. She, you, you know what I'm talking about? You saw it? But uh, I thought they lowered it. I thought they, they put the, the... It was just like the saran wrap, right? The saran wrap? No, this was, this the, was actually uh, 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 a painter's tape. Oh, okay. Because there was one it, where there's a gray cat and another cat, and they had it high, and the one cat jumped up, and they kept lowering it, lowering it, lowering it. Then finally, the other one walked over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. In this case, it was the dogs, and they oh. they went higher and higher and higher, and finally, when they got really high, one dog dog got really smart, and because it was on like you know it was in, uh, you know there was an area of a uh, uh, what uh, what do you call that thing? You have you have your sink and everything, and then you have a, a an island. Oh, I and between the kitchen. sink and the island, the area where the sink was and the island, that's where she put up the tape. And they would oh. keep, they put it larger and larger and larger. And they finally got to a point where the dogs couldn't jump over it. And one of the dogs realized that if he simply pushed on the tape, the door <laughs> on, the, uh, on the cabinet would open, open it and he'd just walk over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to adopt that one. I yeah. want the small one. <laughs> 55 million views. Okay. They show these ones where yeah. they're like on the sink and they put they put aluminum foil and the cat goes to jump up and when it jumps up and it lands on the foil, the thing jumps back. And they have like video after video. Yeah, and that's got millions of views. <laughs> See, the cruelest thing I ever did to my cat, you ever put uh, scotch tape on their paws? Not yet. <laughs> Maybe tonight. <laughs> Learn something new to Adrian. do. Adrian! Yeah. <laughs> they're 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 cat cat they do a great dance number. Oh, you know, wow. <laughs> and if they're strong cat, if they're strong cats, you can use duct tape. Yeah, yeah. But my cats, I used to play with my cats. Like I used to play rough with my cats, and they used to love it. They used to love it, you know. But anyway, so, you know... Uh, but I, I, next time Berta comes over, I'm just going to have to videotape her, and I'll, I'll get millions of views, and then I'll have to be able to kiss you guys goodbye. I can just spend the whole. Well, how many views did you get? Remember, you used to stick the camera out to watch the snow. 
Oh, I, I had like one about watch well, well, what snow melting. Oh, okay. watch the snow <laughs> melt. <laughs> and I figured, you know, watching paint dry probably would do better even than <laughs> snow melting. And oddly enough, I did the snow melting, and that thing got like maybe a thousand views or something. <laughs> and and Marjorie and I, when we go out to the park, we haven't done it in a while because we can't even walk that far anymore. But when we go went out to the park. Those things got me more. I got over a thousand views on some of them. Oh my god! You know, and we did nothing. We talked for five minutes, and that was it. Argued with each other a little bit, and that was the end of it. The views weren't about the two of you. It was about the lake or the pond and the the ducks bouncing around. Out no, there. we didn't show that much of them. Sometimes we just put the camera on us talking. Oh. And I, it, I've seen a couple. Of them. I would come back, and all of a sudden, I look, and there are five hundred views in like an hour. I'm going, what is that about? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So the, you know, you don't have to work too hard to get uh, get viewers. You have to work hard to get no no viewers. That's it, it, it's hard, much harder to do that, and I'm getting close to that now. So, you know, <laughs> I'm really working hard on this show. You've been quiet tonight, uh, Jeff. Very happy. I am in New York now, or oh, Connecticut. Yeah. What do you mean you're in New York? Well, I'm in Connecticut. Oh, you're I'm back in back Connecticut. Home. I am out I, of Florida. I was going to say those doors are pretty popular if you're in New York. Yeah, by, by the way, you, when you're in Connecticut, too. You, you didn't like uh, Florida? No, I did. I liked it. I liked it. It was very nice. You're a Jew. You're supposed to like Florida, <laughs> God I, damn it. The temperature is great. Oh, it's nice now, right? Have it nice and warm. Well, Marjorie's always complaining about, oh, it's really rainy today, and my back is killing me, and so yeah, on. And I go, if we moved to Florida, you'd be, you'd be happy <clears throat> with it, you know? And there's I said, no, but there's no taxes on uh, on uh, your uh, retirement, right? And that's why a lot of people move. I know. I don't know. I don't think that's it. There's no uh, taxes no on income your, tax. Uh, uh, there's no income yeah. on your property. Is there an ink? There's no income tax in Florida, too. I don't think so. Really? I think it's very long, if any. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. But <laughs> people still. I mean, you can't believe the amount of new houses that are being built down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And the ones that are being torn down to make the new ones. Yeah. I bet yeah. homes don't stay up that long in Florida. No. You know, Hurricanes and big storms blown like down. Up Shecky there. had a nice home out in uh, Queens, and it's since been sold. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I bet uh, we're, we're, I and the person who's uh, running the uh, the estate are both kind of betting like how long it's going to take before whoever bought the house is going to tear it down and put up a mini mansion. You know, we hmm. used to say that they knock the house yeah, down. Because it's, yeah. it's on an acre of property, so it's really you know or. or chop up the property and make it into two homes, you know? So anyway, you know. Yeah. No, nope, Florida does not have a state income tax. They do not oh, have wow. a state income tax. Okay, no. that's good. And that's why people go there and retire because yeah. the retirement doesn't get yeah, taxed. Right. Well, I'm playing the theme. Ooh. Oh my God, that probably quick. Gee, it went quick, didn't it? Yep. God, it seemed, be with it you seemed like five hours from this end. Oh well. <laughs> Hey, listen, Bree, good seeing you again. Bree? Yeah. Everything fine out in Malaysia? Yeah, it's going well. Huh? Yeah, it's going well. Oh, it's going well, okay. He this is a guy who, ever since he's called our program, has never lived in the United States. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. <laughs> you know, he's lived in uh, Dubai. Back a few times. Dubai, <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and now you're in Malaysia. Thank you for being here, Bree. I really appreciate it. Just seeing your face gives puts a smile on mine. Uh, thank you very much, Bree. Uh, Bree, and thank you uh, to uh, um, uh, uh, Brian Neary. And uh, it's good having you here. Not once have we been joined by your lovely daughter tonight, so she must be Jeez. busy. Huh? I, yell, I yelled at her. You yelled at her. Yeah, it's okay. We'll talk about it tomorrow night. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's a teaser for everybody, okay? A teaser. Yeah. How <laughs> he yelled at his kid. And thank you, you so much, Alan. Thank you to Jeff. Thank you to uh, uh, Kevin. 
Thank you to Tony, and uh, thank you also to Charlie. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. And uh, if you stay tuned, Amy Manuel is next with the uh, with the intersection, and she'll be taking your calls uh, live on GabNet Live on Skype. GabNet Live is what you type in. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye bye.